Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to take a moment to tell you guys a quick story. Uh, it's becoming a bit more relevant to me these days as I'm meeting a lot of people, uh, new team members are coming on board at Intrigue Media, and uh, I think it just kind of illustrates a great point that everybody can kind of take away from uh, the story. So here, here's how it goes. Uh, I'm going to try to shorten this as much as I can, so I'm going to leave out some of the good stuff, but the, the story s stays the same nonetheless. Uh, I used to live out in Whistler, BC, and the way I got there is a pretty cool story, but I'll tell that one another time. Um, I'm from Ontario, and so when I moved out there, I was super excited to snowboard and get on a big mountain, ride fresh powder, and just, you know, be in the mecca uh, of the mountains in Whistler, BC. And it was amazing, and the first couple times I went out, uh, I was so excited about getting down the hill, and I realized very quickly that my capabilities as a snowboarder were pretty limited and that uh, it was going to take me a lot of time, uh, you know, working or riding with these great people to kind of get up to snuff. Anyway, a couple weeks into it, I went down a run and I'm not going to name it because it's kind of a secret, secret spot. So if you're actually curious about what it is, maybe you just uh, ask me in the comments, I'll direct message you guys. But um, it was amazing because I went with like four other guys and we were in a, it was a tree run, it's uh, off piece. And uh, we we're cruising through like three feet of snow. It was unbelievable, super serene, super quiet. And you could always kind of keep everybody in your peripheral vision. You could kind of see as a pack as you're riding down. But then all of a sudden I just see kind of one after another, these four other guys just kind of disappear. And uh, they just kind of fell off what looked like the face of the earth. And I thought to myself, okay, well, what what is this? What are you guys doing? So I, uh, not totally confident in my ability to just fall off the face of the earth, I kind of crept up to this spot where I saw these people take off, and I looked down and I noticed that I was at the top of about a 40-foot cliff. And uh, I got to tell you, my stomach turned into a knot, and my heart dropped. And I was super scared about the idea of having to, you know, drop off this cliff. So immediately I started looking for other solutions, like, you know, hiking back up and getting around this you know cliff line so that I could find a way find a way down without having to you know throw my body off of this cliff and uh, it was about three o'clock in the afternoon and in the middle of the winter it was January and uh, it was starting to get a little bit dark nothing crazy yet it gets dark around 4 4 30 in January out there but I knew if I started hiking to get around this cliff line I was going to be at least an hour and a half maybe two hours before I could start getting down and uh, the idea of skiing in the dark when you're on a big mountain uh, is a really, really bad idea. So it became pretty clear pretty quickly that I was gonna have to jump off this cliff if I wanted to get down in the, during you know, the light. And, and that anxiety, that ball of anxiety just started growing in my stomach. And I walked up you know, maybe 20 meters to try to give myself a bit of runway and as I'm doing it I'm starting to sweat profusely uh, my heart starts racing because I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that I have to make this this jump and the decision is is clear there is no way around I have to go through this and I strapped my board on and I looked at where I needed to go and I could hear faint voices from the bottom of the hill saying come on Rob let's go buddy lots of words of encouragement but man, I was scared shitless. And then I had to bite the bullet and I was sitting there for maybe five minutes, what seemed like an eternity, psyching myself up to have to do this jump. And finally I realized that I had no other choice. I had to go off this cliff. And I decided to jump up, point my board and jump off this cliff. And it was the scariest thing I've done to date. But I landed in about five, six feet of powder. It didn't hurt at all, and it was an unbelievable experience. And what I'm really trying to say is that, in my experience, 100% of the time, the anticipation of doing something that is scary is more scary than actually doing it. And we hear about it all the time with people having to give bad news to clients or having to do something they don't want to do and they procrastinate, and this ball of anxiety grows because we're not willing to jump off the cliff. So guys, what are you afraid of right now? What cliff do you need to jump off of? And just remember that thinking about jumping off that cliff is where fear comes from. And it's always better than you think it's gonna be. You just gotta make the jump. 
I hope that helped you guys. And I really love to hear the stories about you guys jumping off cliffs. I wish you all the success. See ya.